Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Rideshare Hub. My name is Dylan, and thanks so much for coming by. So today's video is, should you take your Uber and Lyft passengers through the drive-thru? So before we get into this video, if you're interested in being a Lyft driver, go ahead and sign up using my link in the description. You're gonna get a sign-on bonus. You can start making 20 to $30 an hour, sometimes even more, you know, if it just depends on how much more you can make. And if you wanna watch my videos and learn how to make more, go ahead. So if you wanna sign up, go ahead and use my link in the description. All right, so today's video, should you take your Uber and Lyft passengers through the drive-thru? You know, as a new driver, I question this all the time, you know, and I looked up, what, what are other people doing? Do, are you taking people through the drive-thru? Is he taking people through the drive-thru? Is she taking people through the drive-thru? You know, I just really didn't know. And I drive at night quite a bit, you know, I love driving at night. I, you know, there's no traffic, you know, it's, it's easy and you have a bunch of super interesting people. Sometimes you get invited out. You know, when I drive at night, usually I get invited out a lot. Does that happen to you guys too? You know, I, I, I don't do it all the time. You know, I don't go out all the time, but you know, here and there, I'm, you know, I'm not gonna lie. I, I've taken the offer before. <laughs> I mean, why not, right? Is, is that, is that illegal? I don't think so. Um, sorry if it is. I, I don't know. I don't know if making friends is illegal. If you're driving at night, you're bound to have a few passengers ask you, hey, can you take me to the drive-thru? Um, you know, and what should you do? And I'm actually gonna argue for both sides during this video. I'm gonna argue, yes, you should, and no, you shouldn't and then I'm gonna let you guys decide. So I have a couple reasonings for both. So here are my reasonings on why you should take your passengers through the drive-thru. Number one, you're not wasting any gas, or you're using a little bit, but you're not driving around, you know, you're not putting miles on your car. Two, it's really easy, you know, you don't have to focus on the road while you're, you know, you don't have to drive around, make sure you're, you know, following all the laws of the road, you're just sitting in your car. And then three, is usually they tip you. Usually usually your passengers will tip you and they will sometimes buy you food. Um, so, I mean, I, I love free food. I mean, who doesn't love free food? That's pretty much why I'm living my life is so I can eat food. <laughs> so I'm gonna share a really quick story about one time where it was really good that I took this guy through the drive-thru. So it was uh, around, it was pretty late at night. Well, not too late, it was like 10 p.m and I was driving, I picked him up uh, from a house, you know, from a residence, and I, I think he was just at a friend's house and he wanted to go home. So I picked him up and he said, um, <clears throat> we we're just talking, he goes, hey, can you, can you take me to, to Jack in the Box? Or I think it was a Taco Bell or something. Uh, he's like, uh, and he said, oh, I'll, I'll tip you a couple bucks. You know what, he actually put a $5 bill in the, in the cup holder, and he goes, here you go, um, you know, for your time. And you know, I'm thinking to myself, oh sweet, you know, this is one of the first times I went through the drive-thru. Uh, and I was thinking to myself, oh sweet, you know, I just made five bucks. I don't know, that's the easiest five bucks I ever made. I'm just sitting in my car, you know, and um, we're going through the drive-thru, you know, it's a super nice guy. I pretty much feel like I'm just driving my buddy around, you know, this guy's super chill, super cool. He's in the back seat just talking. I, we had like a mutual connection. Uh, we're like from this original same town. And, 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 and you know, he, we get up to the Taco Bell or wherever and he goes, he goes, what do you want? And I'm like, um, nothing. I don't know. I was kind of nervous. Like, I don't feel bad like asking for food. Um, he goes, he goes, no. What do you want? And I'm like, um, are you sure? And he's like, yeah, yeah, no worries. And he, I get, I get a burrito. Just you know, I if I would have, you know, if I was there again, I probably would have got something huge, like you know, five burritos or something, you know. But you know, I get a burrito. It's like two, three bucks or whatever. And he, uh, and he gets his order, you know, he got quite a bit of food. So it costed like um, 12 or 13 bucks or so. And I'm in the, I'm in the driver's seat, so, you know, I, he hands me a 20, I hand it to the person, he gives me the food back, or the person gives me the food. I take the food, and there's like $7 change. And I hand it to the guy, and he's like, oh, keep the change. And I'm thinking to myself, seriously? I just got seven more dollars? So that's like 12 bucks right there. Plus I got free food, you know, plus I got free dinner. And so, you know, I was, I was about to stop and go get food pretty much like a ride or two after that, but I got free food and 12 bucks. So I'm like, dude, this is sick. And it only literally took like five minutes. You know, there was no one else in line. So uh, we went there and, you know, I dropped him off a super s smooth ride. I ate my burrito. You know, I, I, um, you know, I logged off to eat my burrito cause I wanted to eat it while it was warm. And then I, when I logged back on, he tipped me another another seven dollars, so that's like 
I literally got tipped 20 bucks plus I got a free dinner I mean that was like you know that was awesome so I'm thinking to myself oh gosh I'm always gonna take people through the drive-thru but now I'm gonna argue why I don't think it's good to take people through the drive-thru okay <clears throat> number one they don't always tip you yes that guy did tip me 20 bucks and a burrito but they don't always tip you a lot of people say usually when people say I'll tip you through the app they don't and if you're a driver you know that that is true usually people are like oh yeah I'll tip you a couple bucks they don't tip you you know they forget about it whatever they fall asleep um, so you know cash tips are always better in my opinion number two is you don't get paid for waiting you know you get or you get paid like 15 cents a minute which you know if you're in the drive-thru for like 30 minutes which can happen sometimes that's like three dollars I think I'm you know I'm not very good at math but you know or a couple dollars that's that's nothing and three it takes away from time that you could be out driving around making more money and more tips you know I have a video called 15 ways to make more tips as a driver and you know when I follow all those tips I pretty much make tips on every single ride and so you know you don't have to go through the drive-thru to get tips so those are my reasons why you shouldn't go through the drive-thru now I'm gonna tell a really quick story about a horrible time I was in the drive-thru okay um, this was probably one of my worst rides ever I picked up a girl from a shopping mall it was an outdoor shopping mall and her location was like in the middle of the shopping mall you know it was a bad start bad bad uh, trip to begin with just because you know I, and I and I go to the shopping mall I go to the main entrance and she's not there I call her and uh, she barely speaks English which you know I don't have anything against people who don't speak English well but it, it is kind of hard to communicate you know when you put your pickup location at the wrong location so she, she basically I she hands the phone to somebody else and basically I realize that she's on the whole other side of the mall so I go around drive around pick her up you know it's already been five six almost ten minutes trying to find this girl I pick her up and uh, we start driving and um, she's in the back seat and she's talking on the phone um, I think she's talking in Arabic or something which I thought was pretty cool because um, I love different languages and she's um, all of a sudden she starts crying like she starts crying heavily like she's she's like sobbing she's on the phone and I'm like straight up like just driving like <clears throat> so uh, yeah you know nice weather out here and um, see so she uh, and, and then she gets off the phone I notice that she's off the phone and she's still crying and you know I, I, I go you know I go everything okay and then she just goes no and I'm like um, okay um, what like do you, can I okay and then she goes do you have a tissue and I actually did have uh, napkins in my car so I gave her a tissue and um, she you know clean wipes her whatever we get to we go to the um, sorry this is relevant I, I promise so we so her I noticed that her uh, her destination is at an in and out and not only is that in and out but that's her stop her she uh, she put in two stops so her first stop was in and out and her second stop was to wherever else she needed to go and we get to in and out and I'm like all right I'm gonna drop you off now um, and she goes no I'm going through the drive-thru and there was like 10 cars in there and I didn't know what to do because you know it was her first stop and I didn't know I, I just said okay I guess like hopefully this is quick I get in line 30 minutes later I'm still sitting in there she's still crying in the back seat I'm sitting there like thinking what am I doing with my life I'm not getting paid any money you know I've been paid 10 cents a minute to sit here and this I got a girl crying in my back seat you know fortunately she did offer to buy me a burger I got a double double you know I wanted to go heavy I think I got some animal fries with that too animal style fries you know I wasn't you know sitting in there for nothing and I think she did t end up tipping me like 10 bucks or something which was nice but I could have been out making way more money driving around um, picking other people up you know as you guys know I, aver I usually average like at least thirty dollars an hour um, so you know that I, I and then I took her to her other destination like it, it literally the whole trip was like an hour and a half and I think I made like 30 bucks so it it was not good so 
that that's the story about why I, sh I think you shouldn't go through the drive through So now that I've presented both sides, what do you think? Do you think you should go through the drive through or not? I'm going to leave it up to you. For me, I usually do it as a, at a case by case basis. You know, I usually say yes if it's not crowded. And if it's crowded, then usually I say, hey, sorry, I don't have time to wait. I'm just going to drop you off. I don't get paid for waiting. And even if they say, oh, I'll tip you, I say, sorry, I appreciate the offer, but I'm going to have to decline. Now, if it's not busy or there's only one or two cars in there, you know, then usually I'll say yes. You know, I try to say yes most of the time. You know, I'm usually pretty optimistic, optimistic about it. But let me know. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below if you think you should or you shouldn't. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, if you're interested in being a Lyft driver, go ahead and sign up using my link in the description for a sign-on bonus. And we're almost at a thousand subscribers. We're almost there. Drum roll, guys. Drum roll. We're almost there. Boom, 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 boom. And at a thousand subscribers, we're giving away dash cams. So if you want a dash cam, subscribe so you know when we're doing the little dash cam giveaway. I don't know what this is, but it looks pretty cool on my camera. Um, I don't know if it looks cool on your screen. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.